Today's lesson is on two-way tables. Our learning targets for today. I can understand the meaning of values in a two-way table, and I can use given data to fill in a two-way table. So what is a two-way table? A two-way table is a way to organize bivariate data and identify trends. So you ask, well, what is bivariate data? It's just a fancy way to say two sets of data that are related in some way. So here's an example of a two-way table. There are 80 people were asked, were surveyed. They were asked if they play sports and if they enjoy watching sports. The two-way table to the right shows the results of both of these survey questions. So remember the survey question, the first one was if they ask, or if they play sports was the first question. Second one, do they enjoy watching the sports? All right. So so, so what all these numbers mean? We have our two-way table and we have our questions. How many students like sports? How many do not like sports? How many students enjoy, enjoy watching sports? How many students don't enjoy watching sports? All right, so let's go over these. So this 29 represents there are 29 people who play sports and enjoy watching sports. So look at how this kind of meets. It's kind of like Battleship when you're playing the game. The game. Play sports and enjoy. 29 people in. show that. So look at this one. 33 people who do not play sports, but they enjoy watching sports. Rhymes with a five. These five people like playing sports, but they don't like watching sports. These 13 people do not like playing sports, and they don't like watching sports either. And looking at this 80, there are a total of 80 people surveyed. And to find out how, how that was, you can add these four numbers together. 29 plus 33 plus 5 plus 13 equals 80. There's other ways you can find this number, which we'll talk about shortly. Let's look at these. There were a total of, we're just looking at this row, there were a total of 62 people who enjoy watching sports. 29 plus 33 equals 62. So look at this row. There are 18 people who do not enjoy watching sports. Where we get that? 5 plus 13 is 18. Let's look at columns. There were 34 people who play sports. 29 plus 5 is 34. Let's look at the next column. There were a total of 46 people who dot, do not play sports. 33 plus 13 equals 46. See how we're getting these totals? So this column, these two added together will equal this. These two added together will equal this. Now if we look at rows, 29 and 33, we add these together, will equal 62. 5 and 13 added together will be 18. So there were a total of 80 people surveyed. So like I mentioned before, there's another way you can find this. If you just add your 62 and 18, this will equal 80. Also, if you add your 34 and 46 together, you'll get 80. So these two, these total columns, so the one that goes column, when you add those two together, should be the same as when you add these, this, these two rows together. So 80 and 80. So now let's have you try. Male and female students were surveyed to find out which subject they preferred. The results are shown below. So we have math, science, if they are male or female, and the totals. Notice in the far corner here, the bottom corner is typically a grand total of the number of 
students surveyed. So how many people preferred math? So let's look at math. How many people, now when I say people, that includes both males and females. So our answer is going to be 41. How many females preferred science? So this one they're being specific. Females. So we look at females and science, 12. How many total students were surveyed? Well, there's a few different ways you could do. You could add these all, these four up equal 68 or you can add 34 and 34 equals 68 or you can add 41 and 27 equals 68. So 68 is our grand total of the number of students surveyed. Let's look at this one. People in three different age groups were surveyed to find out which kind of ice cream they preferred. The results are shown below. So we have the age groups of children, teens, and adults and we had the choices of Vanilla ice cream or chocolate ice cream? So how many total people were surveyed? And we look at our far corner here. 70. To find that 70, we could add up these six boxes. 13 plus 15 plus 8 plus 10 plus 16 plus 8. We get you 70. The other ways you could do it, we can add the total number of children plus to the total number of teens to the total number of Adults. Add those three numbers together, you get 70. Or you can add the total that prefer vanilla and add it with the total that prefer chocolate. So 36 plus 34 is 70. How many adults prefer vanilla? So we find adults, we find vanilla. Where do they meet? Eight. How many teens prefer chocolate. So they're being specific. They're saying teens and chocolate. So we find teens, we find chocolate, and they meet right here, 16. How many total children were surveyed? We look at children. Now being specific, only children, we can disregard the whole, the rest of this chart. Only ch children. So that means how many were surveyed? We add 13 and 8 is 21. How many total people preferred vanilla ice cream? So we're talking about total people, so that includes children, teens, and adults. How many like vanilla? We find vanilla. The total would be 36. We're adding 13 plus 15 plus 8 equals 36. So let's try creating one. Students in grades 7 and 8 were asked if they would like to join math, a math club. The results are shown in tally charts. Organize the data in a two-way table. So we have want to join a math club, and we have seventh graders, and the number of students that want to join, and eighth graders, the number of students that want to join. Down here, these are the students who do not want to join a math club. Seventh grade, the number that did not, and eighth grade, the number that did not. So let's make a two-way table. So we're comparing seventh and eighth grade, and if they join the math team or math club, or they didn't. So let's fill in what we know. Start with the students who want to join the math club. So we're going to look at this here. So number of seventh graders that want to join, we have 5, 10, 15, 18. And eighth graders, we have 5, 10, 11. So we have 18 and 11. Now, do the students who do not want to join math club. So we can look at this table down here. Number of seventh graders who did not want to join math club, 5, 10, 12. And we have 5, 10, 15, 19. So we have 12 and 19. Make sure you have it under the, the correct row here. Seventh graders had 12. Ninth, I'm sorry, eighth graders had 19. Next, we need to total up all the 7th graders and all the 8th graders. So we're just going to add 18 and 11. Oops. I'm sorry. We're going to add, going across, 18 and 12 is 30, and 11 and 19 is 30. So the number of 7th graders that were surveyed was 30. The number of 8th graders surveyed was 30. Now total up all the students who want to join all the students and the students who don't want to join. So now we're going to add 
are 18 and 11. So this is the join column. 18 and 11 is 29, and 12 plus 19 is 31. Finally, you need to find the total number of students that were surveyed. You can add your totals. 30 plus 30 is 60, or 29 plus 31 is 60. Remember what I said, these two added together should be the same as these two added together. The last way you could do it, you can add these four numbers together. The fastest way is just adding your totals. So we have 60. So nice job. Now head on over to Schoology for today's practice. Email your teachers if you have any questions.